Hello viewers, today in this video, I shall try to discuss about a film. It is called Rudali. Okay. Rudali, it is translated into English as female weeper, means one who will cry if someone dies, especially women. This film is a 1993 Indian Hindi language movie directed by Kalpana Lazmi, written by Lazmi and Guljar. You all know about Guljar. And it is based on a 1979 short story of the same name by Bengali author Maheshweta Devi. This movie is set in a small village in Rajasthan. The film star uh, includes Dimple Kapadia as Sanchiari. She is a lonely and hardened woman who, despite a lifetime of misfortune and abandonment, is unable to express grief through crying and is challenged with a new job as a professional mourner. Okay. Besides, Rakhi, Raj Babbar, and Amjad Khan, these are the actors who appear in supporting roles in the movie. This film is produced by the National Film Developmental Development sorry, Corporation of India and Doordarshan. And the film was labeled part of India's neo-realist parallel cinema. What is parallel cinema? That I will talk in the later part of this video. And, oh sorry, but it employed several of the common elements of mainstream Hindi cinema, including songs composed by Bhupen Hazurika. If you are from Assam, then this name is very own for you or very fam familiar for you. So uh, from this song, a famous song, uh, sorry, from this film, a very famous song um, uh, is uh, there. That was Dil Hum Hum Kare. Dil Hum Hum Kare. So Dil Hum Hum Kare, it, it was taken from the Assamese person. Uh, Buku Hom Hom Kore, and it was also composed by Bhupen Hadurika himself for the movie uh, Moniram Diwan in Assamese. That you all know, but I have just uh, reminded you a little bit. And this film is, I have already told you, directed by Kalpana Lazmi, and you all know Kalpana Lazmi was the wife or the partner of Bhupen Hadurika. It was written by Guljar, and it is based on Ru Rudali, uh, a short story written by Maheshweta Devi, and it was produced by Ravi Gupta, Ravi Malik, NFDC. Durdarshan. And in the movie, there are many actors, including Dimple Kapadia in the lead role, Raj Babbar, Rakhi, Amjad Khan. And the c cinematography uh, is done by Santos Sivan, uh, Dharam Gulati, music by Bhupen Hazarika. And it was Hazarika. And it was, uh, sorry, the release date of the movie was 18 June 1993. And the running time was 115 minutes. And the origin of the uh, film was in India. And the language of the movie was Hindi. Now let's try to know about the movie. Rudali, it was a critical and unexpected commercial su success. Particular critical praise was di directed at Kapadia's performance, means the Dimple Kapadia's performance, with further application of the film script, music, and technical achievements and Lazmi's direction. The film has also won three national awards, including Best Actress for Kapadia, and was also nominated for three Filmfare Awards, earning Kapadia a Critics Award for Best Performance. Besides, Kapadia has also won Best Actress Honours at the 8th Damascus International Film Festival and the 38th Asia Pacific Film Festival, where Hazurika was awarded for his mu music. The film was also selected as the Indian entry for Best Foreign Language Film at the 66 Academy Awards, but was not accepted, but was not accepted as a nominee. So now let's try to know a little bit about the director of the film, Kalpana Lazmi. She was born in 1954 and died in 2018. She was an Indian film director, producer, and screenwriter. Lazmi was an independent filmmaker working more on realistic, low-budget films, which are known in India as parallel cinema. Her films were often woman-oriented. She had been for a long time manager with Bhupen Hazurika. She was diagnosed with kidney cancer in 2017 and died on 23 September 2018 at the age of 64. And I'm sorry, I might have said Bhupen Hazurika's wife, but that will not be correct. Uh, Kalpana Lazmi was Bhupen Hazrika's kind of partner, okay? And now let's try to know what is parallel cinema. Rudali is a part of parallel cinema. So parallel cinema means it is a new Indian cinema movement and it was uh, originated in the state of West Bengal in the 1950s as an alternative to the mainstream commercial Indian cinema. And uh, I have already told you that this movie is primarily pro produced by NFDC, the National Film Development Corporation uh, India and NFDC. It is based in Mumbai and it is the central agency established in 1975 to encourage high quality Indian cinema. And it functions in areas of film financing, production and distribution and under Ministry of I Information and Broadcasting, Government of India. And the primary goal of the NFDC is to plan, promote and organize an integrated and efficient development of the Indian film industry and foster excellence in cinema. So now let's try to know. Uh, so here I would like to request you that please watch the movie from the beginning to the end. Okay. Uh, this movie is also available on the YouTube. And from there, you have to watch all the 
scenes or whole film after watching whole film now you have to read the uh, short story or the vice versa then you have to analyze how mahesh swata or what i have forgotten i am extremely sorry for that that writers rudali how the film maker has adapted that short story into a film or the vice versa what kind of loopholes are there or what kind of excellent works are done in the movie that kind of thing you have to know so read the work and watch the movie otherwise it will be futile for you okay means if you are taking literature and cinema as your paper then if you are if you have neither uh, read that short story nor watched that movie and you have just watched my video then you have not done the justice okay you have not done the justice rather you have done something that is not uh, appreciable that is not uh, praiseworthy so please please do what i had already told you so now let's try to know about the content of the movie means what kind of things were uh, depicted through the movie so in the movie thakur ram ramavatar singh he is the zamindar and also called the landlord of barna barna is a village in the desert and on his deathbed he bemoans that none of his relatives would set tears for him so he calls for a famous rudali named bhikni to mourn him after the, his death then bhikni says uh, with the widow uh, sanichari if i'm not wrong so pronunciation may not be up to the standard i'm extremely dramatically sorry for that please watch the movie then only you will get, get to know sanichari who lives in the thakur's village and as their friendship gr- grows sanichari tells uh, bhikni her life story which is revealed in flashbacks then Sani- sanichari was actually born on a, a sanichar sanichar means saturday uh, it is named after the planet sunny saturn and it is considered inauspicious in hindu astrology so sanichari is blamed by the villagers for everything bad that happens around her from her father's death to her mother's uh, people is running off to join a theater troupe and while still young sanichari is married off to ganju ganju was a drunkard and her son budhua whom she loves very very much uh, he likes to roam around uh, aimlessly just like people did Meanwhile, the Thakur's son, Lakshman Singh, he tells her that he likes her and hires her as a maid to his wife. And in his Haveli, Lakshman tries to get Sanichari to assert herself against social customs and encourages her to look up into his eyes when speaking to him. Then one night, after Sanichari sings at the Haveli, he gives her a house of her own along with, uh, with two acres of land. Then Ganju dies from cholera at a village fair. After curses and, th- and threats from the village pundit for not observing the prescribed customs, she has taken a loan of 50 rupees to perform the rituals from Ramavatar Singh and uh, it became, became a bonded laborer under him. Then with the passage of time, after some years later, uh, sorry, after some years, a grown-up Budhua, he brings home Mungri. Mungri was a prostitute and uh, he had brought her as his wife. Then Sanichari attempted to throw her out but relented on learning that she was pregnant with his child but the but the snide remark of the village pundit and shop owners fueled conflict between the two women and in a fit of rage after a fight mungri aborted the child then budhua left home sanichari told bhikni that not, none of these bereavements brought her to tears then one night bhikni was called to the neighboring village by a person named bhisma data okay and Ramavatar Singh passed away a few hours later. Then Sanichari went to bid farewell to Lakshman Singh, who had plans, who had plans to leave the village. Then a messenger brought the news of Bhikni's death from the plague and told Sanichari that Bhikni was her mother, Puli. After that, Sanichari then began to weep profusely and took over as the new Rudali, crying at the Thakur's funeral. Sorry, fun- funeral. So in that way, movie ends. Now you have to compare the movie according to the short story so i have already told you about the star cast here dimple kapadia she uh, acted as sanichari raki as bhikni or puli ras babbar as lakshman singh amjad khan as thakur ramatar singh raghubir yadav as budhua and susmita mukherjee as mungri or budhua's wife if you talk about the film's theme then the film has also explored themes of caste class stratification gender inequality and poverty all portrayed through the feudal system and socio-economic marginalization of poor villagers the film, uh, a film critic Namrata Joshi says about the film that uh, it plays the issue of gender and patriarchy in the broader context of class and caste divides. And Sumitra S. Chakrabati, she has also de- described uh, the film as a film that wishes to evoke subaltern ethos. On the other hand, Radha Subramaniam, she wrote that the film, it has explored the many levels of operation to which the lower caste impoverished female is subject. 
She has also notes, uh, noted that the film's con- uh, combinatory style as it draws on the two strains of filmmaking extend in India and it also combines the social concerns of the art cinema with elements of the mass uh, appeal of Bombay films. Then, in the book India Trans- Transitions, Culture and Society During Contemporary Viral Times, Priya Kapoor, she has called it a feminist treatise on solidarity against caste, ostracization, and the plight of the subaltern woman at the hands of the land-owning classes. Then she further argued that the film came at a time when caste and class politics has seen have seen a disturbing resurgence in Indian politics and civilian life. Then in another book, in Intela, Intercultural Communication and Creative Practice, Music, Dance, and Women's Cultural Identity, Kapoor also wrote that Rudali, it offers a chance to examine a rural community colonial and feudal bound by its caste location. Now let's try to know about the original writer of um, the short story Rutali. It is, I have already told you, written by Mahesh Weta Devi. She is an eminent Indian Bengali writer and a renowned social activist. She has used her socio-political writings as a tool to give voice to the voiceless subalterns who are subjugated and silenced by the society. And her writings are always based on her experience and knowledge of the marginalized community. Besides, she has also documented the immense struggle of low caste people in India, and she has also presented the root cause of their problems to the world. In her journey of activism, she has brought to light the politics behind the exploitation of the subalterns in the name of sociocultural, religious beliefs and practices. And uh, that's it. Okay. Mm. That's it. I have uh, already told you that you have to read the short story, then watch the movie, then analyze about the movie and how movie was shot, what kind of... Uh, film technique is used or cinema making techniques used you have to analyze that and according to question you have to answer it that's it it's not so tough and whatever i have said that is all from my own perspective literature and cinema it is quite a new topic for many people and in, including me because i have not read this um, paper so this may not be a uh, up to the standard up to the standard video for you but it can give you little insight about the plot of the film that's it so i hope you have understood it Please watch the movie, please read the book then, analyze it. That's it.